Wow, well, welcome back, everybody. Whew. What a day. What a couple of great days. We um, uh, have such a great, have had such a great time with you all. Um, and we wanted to talk about next steps. So as people are tra um, trickling back in, maybe um, folks could share in the chat some of their um, observations and uh, ideas. What was what went really well? What did you love? What inspired you? Um, and uh, what are you going to do next <laughs> to uh, change the world for zero waste? And uh, we are going to, can you guys see my screen okay? Chris, can you see my screen? Yeah? Looks good. Looks good, all right, well, good enough. Um, I wanted to, of course, thank our volunteers, um, Alec, Anna, Ashpreet, Bonnie, Haley, Jennifer, Patty, Rose, you, you have no idea all the, uh, behind the scenes work that everybody had to do to make something happen. And I just really wanted to appreciate uh, them for stepping up. It was a little stressful at times, but of course we made it happen. So thank you all very much uh, for your patience and, uh, and, and your work. So it, it went really well. And of course I wanted to um, thank our conference committee. So it of course takes a village to do anything that's worth doing, uh, Amanda, Chris, who you've seen all day for two days, uh, Chris Tourne, Dennis, um, Gary Liss, uh, Jeremy, Jill, Laura, Portia, Rick, and Stephanie. Um, I wanted to invite everybody up on the stage to, um, uh, you know, to kind of give a little feedback and talk about what we're doing and the next steps of our program through Zero Waste USA. This is the uh, third uh, conference that we've done virtually the last three years. Um, it's feel like it's been very successful. We had a collaboration with um, uh, National Recycling Coalition and with True Zero Waste, and it's um, it been really great to be um, to to be with them and to be a part of the the partnership. So um, let's see. Wanted to go through the zero waste USA programs and we do have a program announcement. So do we have um, the folks up on the stage yet there, uh, Chris? There's only uh, not everybody's here yet. This is as far as we've gotten so far. We have 107 participants and the people that are need to be co hosted are not all here yet. Okay, uh, do you see Amanda? Can you bring Amanda up? Do you see? Um, Neil and Gary and Rick. I'll go ahead and stop sharing. Unfortunately, it takes me a moment to do this. Please stand by. Yeah. Okay, I do see Gary. Krista Tourney, I see you're there. I feel like the magic mirror. Jeremy, you're there. You should come on up. Um, <clears throat> I don't see Amanda yet. They're probably still in their session. I'm here. Oh, you're there. Okay. R Ruth, how about uh, getting a picture of everyone uh, in the audience? Uh, even if it's only 107, uh, that would be a great picture uh, if we haven't captured it before. Yeah, everybody can uh, unmute and um, and come up on stage. You want to change your layout there? Um, we're Let's asking what I can do. poor yeah. old Chris because uh, he's uh, <laughs> he's trying to get out all of our program managers up on stage for our oh, big okay. announcement. Well, it doesn't have to be right this second. Uh, maybe if everyone could stay uh, uh, after the announcements. No problem. That'd be great. I'll be right back. I need to get some water. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, while, while we have a moment, uh, I want to say uh, thank you to Ruth. Uh, she's been thanking everyone else, um, but she's been our fearless leader and uh, uh, took the responsibility on this year to uh, make this happen um, and uh, did an awesome uh, uh, job in uh, putting it all together. And um, um, I don't know how she coordinates so many different things, but she is amazing. And if any of you have worked with her, 
um, uh, you know how how special she is, and and so want to acknowledge that. Um, some of you may not know that she was just recognized by the National Recycling uh, Coalition as uh, Recycler of the Year uh, uh, for 2022, and. Uh, um, some of us nominated her and everyone who heard the nomination said, oh, yeah, great idea. Uh, she is awesome. So uh, uh, let's see uh, some applause for uh, uh, Ruth uh, coming up uh, with those reaction buttons. All right. Well, thank you so much, Gary. And of course, it was such a shock uh, to uh, to get nominated for that. So I very much appreciate it. It's nothing like being recognized by your peers, and I really appreciate that. But, uh, but the thinking, speaking of being recognized by your peers, um, Chris, are, do you feel like you're ready to uh, run our um, program announcement? Do you want me to do this? No, Ruth? no, I don't want you to do anything, Rick. I want uh, Chris to do it. Okay. Working on it. Here we go. Oh, we can't see it full screen, I don't think. Oh, yeah, let's take care of that. Yeah, get rid of all of the rest of us for now. <laughs> Good idea. There you go. That's good. Sorry, wait a second. What's all that about? Years of activism, Neil Seldman has retired from the Institute for Local Self Reliance. He is joining Zero Waste USA to lead the Recycling Cornucopia program supporting communities and grassroots organizers to work for zero waste. Congratulations, Neil, on um, joining us at uh, Zero Waste USA. Uh, it's been a long time since the 1970s. You've been providing leadership um, in the United States and worldwide uh, on reuse, recycling, composting, market development, uh, uh, so many things that uh, it, it's great to have you be part of the Zero Waste USA team and looking forward to working with you in that new role. This is a surprise. <laughs> hey, Neil, I want to congratulate you on your move, your next move in your career. I, I remember in the 70s when I first met you at the CRA conference and you were agitating against incineration when none of us knew what it was and you've never stopped. And We've worked in uh, cold climates in Kent County and in Hong Kong and Hawaii. And I look forward to working with you now in your new role as working with us. And I love it. I really do. Thank you for all you've done. And I hope for a bright future for all of us. Oh, oh my gosh. Neil. Thanks for 35 years of mentorship, mentorship and guidance and championing and non burn solutions to wasting that create local economic development opportunities and wrest power from the titans of trash. Your work and vision has led to major paradigm shifts and it's been a privilege to be part of the journey with you. Neil Selman was raised on the East Coast. Charlie Moore was born and raised on the West Coast. But over the years, we've united based on our ideology. You know, in 1968, I was in Berkeley and heard Bobby Seale, the chairman of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, say that a person without an ideology was like a person without a soul. That might be a little extreme, but Neil and I have united over our ideology, which is that of radical critical thinking. And no matter where we are, no matter what stage of life, my brother Neil Selman uh, will always be my brother in struggle. So congratulations, Neil, on remaining strong and continuing the struggle for radical critical thought in an era of conformism. Hi, Neil. Congratulations on your retirement, in quotes. We know we'll never retire and we'll never let you retire. 
Um, but thank you so much for all your years of service, all the activism that we've done together, all the ways that you've been supportive of our work and those of us in the trenches um, fighting incinerators, fighting for zero waste, all the fun stories we have together on um, battling things in Delaware, to DC, to Baltimore, and Montgomery County. So many places. Thank you. To continuing to work with you in your retirement. What is this? I'm hearing. He's retiring. Neil, if you're going to retire, what you want to do first is to rotate the tires. You want to what? What? What was that? He's going to do what? You're talking about somebody other than Neil, right? He's going to. He's going to do what? He's going to change. I don't know what you're talking about, Neil. Something about you not doing waste work anymore. I didn't realize we were done, Neil. Everything is handled. What are we going to do now? We got, we got, we can't stop. We can't stop now. There's more work to be done. But you know what? Congratulations, Neil. You figured out a way to disguise yourself so nobody really knows what you're really doing. I think it's a great idea. And I think I'm going to join you just as soon as there is an opportunity. In the meantime, I hope you and Laura have some plans to go and do some serious hanging out. And I think you need to let me know where that is because I'm sure Linda would like to join you. So <laughs> I'll see you later, Neil. Let's make it happen. What? What was that? Okay. I'm being called for dinner. I got to go, Neil. See you later. So Neil got us together. Yeah. Uh, it starts with me going uh, hitchhiking over to the first national recycling conference in Fresno. Uh, but afterwards, Neil and I met up. Neil said, "I'm I'm going up to uh, Sacramento. Why don't you come along with me?" So we rode up on a bus, and he and he was going to speak at the office of Appropriate Technology. I was a bureaucrat. I was staff at the office of Appropriate Technology. And we had brown bag lunches with dignitaries who would come in from actually all over the world. And so we were having one from Neil Seldman. Neil got up and said, well, I've spoken to you before, so you know what I'm going to say. But here's this other guy I brought who has something unusual to say. It's about salvaging at a dump. So I'll let him give his slides and do his presentation. And so Dan showed us slides of the avant-garde activity of salvaging at the dump. And uh, so I was instructed to tell him how to get on the uh, bus going back from Sacramento to Berkeley. I did. I gave him that instruction and we rode back together. And that was uh, a very interesting ride. We can both still remember it. After three years, we got married. Uh, but Dan needed a best man. And so he called Neil and Neil had gotten us, to, he had put us into the situation he got us together. So Dan called Neil and Neil flew out here to be Dan's best man. It was fun. It was. Thanks, Neil. Thank you, Neil. We love you. And good luck on this uh, new phase. It's good. It, phase change is good. Yeah. And uh, we think you're going to just do a bang up job in your new phase. And we'll help wherever we can. Yep. Congratulations, Neil. After 50 years of activism, Neil. That's it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Chris. And thank you, Neil. We're so can excited I, to have you. Can I say a few words? I, I won't, I won't be long. Thank you all so much for this. My closest friends. I, I'm, I'm going to tear up if I think about it more, but I, I want to say a couple of things. I, I will be brief because there's food on the table here. I'm at a family reunion in, uh, in New York city, but a couple of, uh, the, the most, the first thing that so many things pop in my mind, but let me just tell you this one story, maybe two. That day that Dan and I uh, took the bus up to uh, Sacramento, it was marvelous. Um, uh, he knew more, or just uh, he, I just learned so much. It was it was a no brainer to have him speak. But we got there in the mid afternoon, and uh, the appropriate technology office. We said hello. They said we, you know, we have to. We had a couple of hours, and right across the street from that office was a baseball field. But it wasn't just a baseball field; it was manu it was manicured. 
the base paths were, were dirt, the grass, it, it was absolutely beautiful. And there was a real dugout, meaning uh, for the team so they're safe if the ball hit the, the wild pitch or something. And I had a joint in my pocket and I rolled it up. I mean, I, it was rolled and Dan and I had a joint talking garbage in the dugout of a beautiful baseball field. And if I die and go to heaven, I hope that's what heaven is like. Um, the other thing I can say is that my career could not nearly have been successful without Rick Anthony, who taught me and was so patient. We were shivering in the attic of Grand Rapids doing our first zero waste, but not zero waste, but whatever. Gary Liss, Ruth Abbey, who made so many things happen on ourselves. I know many of you are younger and don't know me as long as the others. Chris Sparnick, of course, knows me for, well, at least 25 years. What, what, a, what a thing this is, and it's, it's not even Thanksgiving. So I'll be thanking you guys for the rest of my life. Thank you so much, um, and um, thank you. Thank you, Neil. And we just want to put you to work. So um... I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready after dinner. I'm going to work, guys. I promise. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to wrap up this uh, show. So um, wanted to, of course, shout out to our uh, gold, silver, and bronze sponsors, our collaborating organizations. We want you all to give us some feedback. So um, Porsche is going to send around uh, this uh, survey. You can take a, you know, a screenshot and QR code and take. Go ahead and take the survey now, or you can take it later. Um, uh, but you know, we want to get your feedback. I'll put that. I'll put that back up after a couple more slides. I uh, wanted to remind you guys that we got introduction to zero waste. Um, you know, if, if you love zero waste, if you had a great taste today, you can have more by going to this uh, class uh, that's being taught by uh, Amanda and Chris at the end of January. Um, Chris and Amanda are spearheading their Zero Waste Associates class. It's really exciting to see um, the next group of folks taking this up and taking it on. That's coming up in the beginning of March. You'll all get some emails on that one. Northern California Recycling Association is having Recycling Update 2023. This is in person, uh, and it will be March uh, 28th in uh, the Marines Memorial in San Francisco. And then... Um, about to go into happy hour so that you guys can finally um, talk to each other, talk to, um, get to know each other. Uh, you, we've um, got a lot of uh, friends, as, as Neil said, through Zero Way. So uh, we want everybody to be friends with each other. So we want to see you happy, uh, have a happy hour with you. So we have uh, six um, breakout rooms that you can kind of mingle and mix around. So we got um, uh, Recyclist, which is one of our sponsors, uh, uh, I believe uh, Linnea is back to uh, talk to you about data and outreach and education. Uh, Porsche is going to host a uh, Northern California Recycling Association um, breakout room. Amanda is going to host the Zero Waste USA room. I think Rick and Gary volunteered to host the Zwia and Zero Waste Associates breakout room. Jill is back to do a um, Green Education US room. And uh, Dennis, who um, moderated our um, environmental justice uh, panel, the conversation was going so well and uh, you know people didn't wanna leave. So he suggested that we have an environmental justice breakout room. So um, Dennis will be um, hosting that. So I think we're ready to go. Um, if you guys, if uh, Chris, you want to go ahead and open up those breakout rooms, anybody who wants to stick around in this main room, you can take the survey, you can chat with me and Chris, but otherwise I would recommend that you go into one of the three breakout rooms. So anything we need to do? Um... Unfortunately, somebody else is editing the breakout rooms. I can't open them. Oh, okay. So... All y'all who are co-hosts, get out of those breakout rooms. Get out of the breakout room but button. Thank you. Right. Starting them now. All right. Now, in order to get to the breakout room, you go to the participants button on the bottom of the screen, and you um, uh, and you just click on that, and you can see all six of the breakout rooms. And there's a little join button, and you can just join one of those buttons. Uh, can you see it, Gary? Do you see where yeah. to join? Yep. All right. Good. Um, so join those breakout rooms. 
and you know you can come out come back and join another one you and if the things kind of wear wind down you can collapse your breakout rooms and you know nicra can join with zero waste usa and zero waste associates can join with recyclists so uh you know you can make that happen if uh if you run out of conversation but uh please do well uh, we welcome you we appreciate all you and uh thank you for a wonderful couple of days everybody